Welcome back. Let's see line configuration today. As usual, we will start the session with the outcomes. What we are going to learn today? We have three outcomes for the day. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to Outcome number one, recapture the services offered by physical layer of the OSI model. Outcome number two, we will understand the line configuration. And the last outcome, we will understand the types of line configuration. We will start the session by having a recapture over the services offered by the physical layer. We have already seen this in the OSA reference model. Just a small recapture. We have seven layers in the OSA model and the bottommost layer is the physical layer. And this physical layer is responsible for transmitting bits over a medium. That is, whatever the data link layer creates, it is a frame. Even though it is a frame, it is a set of zeros and ones packed with a header and a trailer. And these set of zeros and ones are given to the physical layer for transmitting the bits what it has received from the data link layer over a medium. The medium can be a wired medium or wireless medium. So this physical layer, whatever it is receiving from the data link layer as bits and those bits have to be converted into signals and transmitted over a medium. So physical layer exactly does the same. Let's see the services offered by physical layer. It deals with the physical characteristics of the media. We have already seen this physical characteristics and the media in the previous three lectures and it deals with the representation of bits. Representation of bits means encoding. In this subject, we are not focusing on various encoding techniques and it deals with the data rate, the transmission rate and this layer offers synchronization of bits and this layer is dealing with the line configuration. This is what the topic of the session. Let's complete the remaining services. It deals with the physical topology. We have bus, ring, star, mesh, hybrid topologies, even tree topology. And finally, the transmission mode. We have simplex, half duplex and full duplex mode. The topic of the session is line configuration. Let's see what is a line configuration. In any network, there are set of devices or nodes connected by links. In a network, two or more nodes are connected by a communication link. And we know this communication link can be a wired link or a wireless link. And let's take there are two nodes and these two nodes are connected by a cable. And we visualize these two nodes as a point and the cable as a line. So for visualization purpose, the links are imagined as a line drawn between two points. And for communication to happen, what do we need? For communication to happen, these two nodes must be connected to the same link at the same time. This is what exactly a line configuration is. So line configuration is also called as connection. When we see an example, these points will become easy to understand. Let's have a look at the types of line configuration. Basically, we have two types of line configuration. Number one, it is point to point line configuration or point to point connection. And number two, it is multi point connection. First, let's have a look at the point to point connection. In a point to point connection, the link is going to be between only two nodes and that is why we call it as a point to point connection. A point to point connection provides a dedicated link between two devices or nodes. We are going to have a link between two devices or nodes and the entire capacity of the link is reserved for transmission between those two devices. For example, if the link is a 100 Mbps link, it means 100 million bits can be transmitted per second. And this 100 million bits can be used only by these two nodes. No other device can claim this because this is the link that is exclusively between these two devices. Let's see an example. It will be more clear for you. This is an example for a point to point connection where this link is a dedicated link between these two workstations or between these two devices or between these two nodes. Similarly, it can be a link between a workstation and a server. Or it can be a link between two satellites. So this is an exclusive link between two nodes or two devices. Hence, the link capacity is fully utilized only by these two nodes. So far, we have seen line configuration and point to point connection. Let's see the second type of line configuration, the multi point line configuration or the multi point connection. In a multi point connection, we have more devices that is using the single medium that is the link where the link is going to be shared among the devices. It is also called as multi-drop configuration or broadcast connection because in this connection, two or more devices share a single link. This link is shared by two or more devices. When this link is shared by two or more devices, 
Obviously, the channel capacity is also be shared by two or more devices. Since more than two devices share the link, the capacity of the channel is also shared by the devices. And this multipoint connection can be spatial or it can be temporal. I will explain the spatial and temporal with the example of a multipoint connection. So, this is an example of a multipoint connection where this is the link that is shared by many nodes. So, the entire channel capacity is shared by many devices. If this is a spatial multipoint connection, then this link is used by all devices simultaneously. And there will be a problem because collision may happen. If two devices send the data at the same time, then collision can happen. Collision means two data collide with each other and it becomes unusable. If this is a temporal multipoint connection, then all the devices will be having their own turn to send the data. So that collision will not happen. And that's it guys. We have recaptured the services offered by the physical layer of the OSI model. We understood the line configuration and we understood the types of line configuration. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.